you're on. Okay, now we're just about ready to start collecting data in the field. But before we go out in the field, we have a short safety message that every user of a DCP needs to be aware of. There are several pinch points on a DCP that can um, injure you during your operation of the DCP. So with that, most of them are in the upper assembly, and I'll pull it out. Now you note, when you pull it out of the case, you need to be careful and keep the hammer balanced between your two hands. There's two handhelds formed into the foam of the case to help you do this. By keeping it balanced, it avoids the hammer from sliding down and hitting one of your, one of your hands or, um, or even um, uh, pinching it on the anvil or the handle by getting it out of balance. So we pull it out, balanced, okay? So with this, the other safety considerations and concerns that you should be aware of is that you have a pinch point at the bottom of the hammer. When you're, when you're, when you're dropping the hammer, it comes in contact with the top of the anvil. So this is a pinch point. You need to keep your free hand clear of this area during your testing. So that what you'll see out in the field, the technique to use the hammer is you'll have the hammer at the top and you'll drop it and what you'll do with this hand is pull it away and keep it free from the device so that you know it won't get pinched when it lands on the anvil. The other pinch point is when you're doing extraction of your drive rod from a test hole. And what happens is you use the hammer to, to impact the bottom of the handle. What you want to make sure is when you start that, that operation is that all your fingers of the hand that's holding the handle is above this ring in the handle. That's why that ring is there is to keep those fingers from slipping down and getting pinched with the hammer and hitting them with that. The other hazard, and then again it associates with the hammer, is that if you assemble or even have your parts and pieces for your dynamic cone penetrometer laid out flat such as in the back of a, a pickup truck or on a tailgate of a pickup truck or, or another vehicle, it's a flat surface and it can easily roll off onto your toes on the ground. So what we recommend is that you A, carry, store, and use the Pelican case that comes with your DCP kit to avoid this hazard. And by, by taking the items apart and putting them directly into your case after you've finished your testing will prevent that hazard from occurring to you. The last item in uh, performing dynamic cone penetrometer tests in the field, you always need to have your personal protective equipment with you. Whatever is required by the project or your company or the requirements, but typically you always have your hard hat and you have a safety vest. Safety vest is critical for visibility when there's heavy equipment or large vehicles working the site. So as a minimum, check with the project, the company you're working with on what the requirements are and always wear your personal protective equipment when you're working in the field.